Good morning, everyone. In this video, I will show you uh, another way to use uh, Dynamo because I got lots of questions uh, on the YouTube channel asking and uh, inquiring about the use, the actual uh, purpose of Dynamo, and the lots of uh, lots of my fans there and subscribers, uh, even on the on the Facebook channel, they just keep asking me: Is it just for uh, making a complex geometries? And what are actually, if there are any, the you know other purposes that Dynamo uh, can serve, or what are the other functions for Dynamo? So I, I, I just you know came across that this node, the custom node that I designed. Uh, recently, and I wanted to talk about one of the other uh, functions that Dynamo can, uh, you know, you know, perform uh, perfectly, which is automation. And in this example, for you, know, I have this uh, uh, node that I created. It's a, it's a sorry a script that I created. It's made made out all as a custom node, and it's just to check the component family type parameters. And what is what is automation? It's very basic uh, concept in in Dynamo. It's just help you to check, uh, you know, like or perform anything that might take like days or hours of work and can be done automatically by the machine. And for example, if this is a plan you have and it's have like doors and and Windows and, and uh, other family members, which is you know, and I mean by the here components only and uh, which is here I think at the desk uh, for example you have a house or you have a hospital design an office which has hundreds of doors and you want to make sure uh, which one of those doors actually meeting a specific criteria you have for example in this node let, let's check the ability I just pick up a category let's take the category so I'm, I'm feeding it with the doors category I will check the width of the door and here, it's, this allow me to draw a circle around the incorrect door. So I'm going to assume it's one in, in radius. And now instead, uh, I notice that there is a small doors and big doors. The big doors, let's assume they are the correct one. So uh, I think they are 1.2 if I'm not you know, mistaken. So now imagine we have hundreds of those doors and instead of two it will be a really really time consuming process to go and check one by one to search for the proper width and which one of them and how to fix it and by the ability of dynamo or by the existence of dynamo this part it doesn't actually create that's why it doesn't serve any geometry modeling but instead it's, it's an automation process so you're going to search and see which of those you know, doors, because I pick doors here as a category, meet or doesn't meet this criteria. So let's go ahead and run that. And we're going to see that it's actually, you know, checked those four doors and they are not meeting, you know, the criteria of a 1.2 and draw a circle around them. And uh, it's beautiful because, you know, uh, in here it gives me also the names of those uh, in a watch of those family members and their ID, which is those guys. It can give you the marks, so you know which exactly where they are. And it can give you also a grade of 100. It's really important to know the accuracy of the draftman, or if you are if you are a professor teaching students, you know that you can get, you get actually 50% because there's eight doors, four of them correct and four mistaken, so it's actually achieved 50% out of the performance or after the final grade. Uh, that's that's the beauty of it. It's that's you can check lots of other parameters. So you can go, for example, for Windows instead, and uh, let's zoom in a little, a little bit. So I'll just hit WI. Yep. So Windows again with uh, I don't know. This is it's. Uh, I think it's. Uh, it's uh, 0 0.915 I, I don't know let's check that and you see that it's excluded that's the circle is too big so I'm gonna make it 0.5 and instead so you now now the, the node is actually getting me to tell me that those are not the 0 0.915 meter default fixed windows that I have in, in the library and that's beautiful because it's it actually can give you also the names, their location, their ID, and it's actually if the accuracy was 30%. You can get, uh, you know, the correct name, the correct ID, uh, parameters. If if you want to see what is the inside the parameter that you want to, you know, you don't want to test or you want to check, 
the correct element mark, the incorrect element mark. It's, it's whatever you want. Uh, it's based on how good you are in Dynamo and how you design your automation purpose and the actual why you designing the, this type of nodes, for example. Last check, uh, I think we go for furniture. Let's see the, the, the things we have in here. So I'm going, I'm going to pick furniture. Uh, I have no idea. I think this is one point... 1.5 meter, yeah, 1.5 meter, 0.25. So just I'm gonna say that's the width of that guy. It's 1.525, uh, and I'm gonna check which of those uh, it's here. Sorry, it's the circle is small now, so probably we need to make it make it bigger. And you see now that Dynamo immediately or automatically find and check the the parameters you provided and provided for you the resulted uh, the only one unique and incorrect uh, component uh, that you want to check that really can save you know the, the, and the ability to use Dynamo and all its ability not just for geometry and not for only drawing complex geometries but rather to do you know the automation part of it so that might answer guys the questions that keep popping all the time on the social media uh, asking me that why uh, other purposes for using Dynamo is it only for geometry so absolutely no you can use it for automation and that can be also being further and expanded I have another 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 customized node that can actually not only detect the incorrect walls uh, or sorry uh, doors but rather fix them and make them uh, all of those for fix them automatically with one click to be 1.2 so imagine to go and check in a design uh, for a, a, an hour to see which door is incorrect and then you have to come and replace it one by one. It can do that for you with a single click. Anyway guys, I wish that you find that uh, useful. Any comment, any, any question, I will be really happy to answer. Thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye-bye.